Hi everyone. On August 7th, the Holy Orthodox Church commemorates a truly remarkable saint named Piman, the much ailing of the Kiev caves. Now Piman, from his earliest days, practically right after he was born, was quite sick. And none of this ever let up. He was sick as he got a little bit older. He was sick as he entered his teen years, never feeling well. Yet, though he was bodily infirm, he possessed a remarkably strong and vibrant spirit. In fact, his parents ended up taking him to the Kiev caves in order to ask for the prayers of the fathers there and of all the saints that had reposed there. Piman, however, even though he knew that they were praying that his ailments might be uh, reversed or subside a little bit, he did not want this. He decided that because he was suffering so much in his body that it was going to be an easier ticket for him to get into the kingdom of heaven because his sufferings would indeed not go for naught that they would be important in the eyes of the Lord if born courageously and with great faith. And so he was praying that nothing would happen. And indeed, it did not happen. And he was glad of this because secretly he wanted to enter the monastery and receive the tonsure. Well, he was to get his wish, although it would come back uh, to him in a rather extraordinary way. Because Piman, once he was allowed to stay at the monastery for a little while, but with no um, conditions of his being accepted there, he fell asleep one night and was awakened in the middle of the night by what looked like the abbot and a number of the brothers. And they had come with candles and with the service book as found in the Tipikon for the tonsuring of a monk, uh, with his Pedrasnik, with his Ryasa, uh, with the Mantia, with uh, the Schema, all of the appurtenances that one has when one is becoming tonsured. Well, as it turns out, these were not the abbot and the brothers of the monastery, but these were actually angels who had been instructed by the Lord, who had heard Piman's prayer about wanting to be tonsured and maintaining his sickness, that he sent his holy angels in order to reform the service in the stead of the abbot and the real brothers. Now this might seem rather amazing to us, but it's well attested. And in fact, the things that happened afterward were even more amazing. Because the next day, when some of the brothers came in and they were awakened early because they heard such wonderful chanting during this service, and of course, if it was the angels chanting, you can imagine it was pretty good, that they came to the cell where Piman was to see how he was doing and what was going on, because it was also a wonderfully sweet fragrance in the air. And upon coming in and seeing him, he was clothed in the garb of a monk. He was holding a candle and the brothers were astounded. And so they got the abbot and he came in as well. And it was inquired, who, who did this to you? Who, you know, who, who tonsured you? And Piedmon was astounded at their comments and said, well, what do you mean? Who did it? You did. You were here last night the abbot, the brothers, everyone, and, and they came and they tonsured me. And all of the brethren were completely flabbergasted by this. And in fact, Piman was holding a candle, he said, which the brothers told me that I cannot extinguish for 40 days. And again, they questioned him. And again, he responded, well, I don't understand. Why are you saying these things to me? Because you are the ones that came in and tonsured me. Well, as it turns out, the brothers tried to extinguish that candle and they were unable to. It would not 
extinguish. And so they finally accepted the fact that Peman had been blessed by God and been tonsured by his angels and was accepted into the brotherhood. Well, time went on and Peman again remained suffering, a total of 20 years actually, and went into the infirmary and later another brother who was quite sick and almost paralyzed was put into the infirmary as well. And so the two of them were there together and Peman asked the other brother, he said, would you if God agreed take care of the things of this infirmary because often we are neglected by the brothers because they don't like the illness and they forget about us and sometimes we go for days without even water would you be willing to take charge of this infirmary and make it a good place and a safe place for the monks to come if the Lord were to heal you and the brother said absolutely I would and Peman then said in that case Jesus Christ cures you of your infirmary. Stand up and walk and enjoy your good health. And indeed the brother did this and he became attentive to everything in the infirmary. He was not negligent of his duties and the place changed but after a while he began to get tired of it and even began to get tired of Peman's illness and so he began to be negligent in his duties. Well, after a time, this brother again became ill and was returned to the infirmary. Peman, of course, at that time was out of the infirmary, still in his cell, but still very, very ill as he always was. And he asked for the brother and the brother came in and he said, this is what happens when you make an agreement with God and then you fall away from that agreement because he acted in good faith to give you your health and now look at what has happened. And the brother repented immensely of this and said that he was sorry. And then Peman said once again, don't despair because the Lord will restore your health. And that is what happened. And this brother again began to be attentive in the infirmary and remained that way from that point on. After about 20 years, as I mentioned, Peman, who had been told by the Lord that he would be sick all the days of his life except for his final day, felt really good. And he got up and he went into the church and he communed of the holy mysteries and he told all of the brothers, look, prepare this place for me in the caves for me to rest because I depart from you today. And also know that there is one monk in there that was clothed with the schema and he was undeserving. And there was another monk that was very deserving but was never clothed and you will find him clothed in the schema. So Peman then laid down his life, reposed in peace and the brothers buried him and they found the two monks that Peman was talking about and indeed the one who had been clothed in the schema no longer had it on and the one who was deserving but at the same time was never clothed, was clothed in the monastic garment. This can be very encouraging for all of us suffering from illnesses, whether they are of a short time or even lifelong, that God does not ignore the fact that we are ill, that we are sick, but that he takes all of this into account and that every day of illness means something in his eyes if we will but bear it faithfully and with much love for our dear Savior who doesn't forget us and who eventually will come and take us into his glory. Bye-bye.